I 3D printed all of this to build a spoiler for my Jaguar XF. So guys, I recently bought this Jaguar XF as a new daily, but I don't like the look of the back end. So I'm gonna start with making a spoiler because buying one is way too expensive. So making a XFR a spoiler for this vehicle because who's got 60,000 Rand to spend on a spoiler. So that brings me to all of these parts that I've been busy 3D printing over the last week, week and a half. So now I want to assemble this and for that I'll be using my plastic welder that you can actually buy on Timu. This is quite handy and I've used it quite a few times before. So bear with me and I'll put the link down in the description for this. You can buy the Amazon, Timu, whoever. But it's actually quite good. It's better than soldering all your stuff together. So let me show you how this works. Okay, as you guys can see, I already made this one. So I already just put a few staples in using my plastic welder. And then I put like an air clay just at the bottom to fill up this void. And this part, I already put it together as well, just for testing purposes. And it just uses four of these staplers. So now I'll go ahead and just complete the other side of the wing. And I'll show you guys the process of this. It uses these little staplers. And all you do is you just put it in your machine. You want to line up the part as best as possible. This is going to get reworked still. And then I'm just going to hold it against it. Pull the trigger until it melts the depth I want to go in. Hold it there for a second or two or three or four. And then pull it out. Now this side, same thing. I'm just going to pull the trigger. Hold it there for a second or two. If you pull it out too quickly, you're going to pull out the whole stapler. Now I have to just press that plastic in there with my hands. Now this is the part that's actually not that great to actually put together. But I don't know about the rest yet. So we'll see. Maybe this is the easiest part. Fascinating. So now my part is together. I can hold it up with one hand on this side. So all I have to do, to do is just fill up this void here with some of that air clay and that will be nice. Okay, so this part is done, but obviously it's still quite flimsy on the ends and that's where it gets supported. So in the end it's just gonna wobble up on these points. So my idea is to actually make this a perfect replica and then be able to make a mold from this. I've got all of this now in three pieces, which I'm unsure if it's better to leave it in three pieces or actually to make this a one piece and then be able to make a mold from this. I'll have to go speak to some experts about this. But let's let's build it as a one piece for now and then just see what it looks like on the car itself. I'm quite excited because I can envision this and I think it's going to look so cool. Okay, so I'll be using some corner pieces which 
looks like that. Uh, basically just to get into the corners. Self-explanatory. So I'm also going to just eyeball this measurement to where I think it's going to be. In the end, this is it's my design. <laughs> so I can do basically whatever I want. I've got a few boxes here just to help me support all of this at hopefully the correct angle. So I'm just going to put one, I think right there. So leave it so it's cold. Next one, I'm just going to put one right there. So if I have to, I'm, I'm going to leave these tabs. So if I have to take them off, I can still just heat them up again and then just take them out again, which I think is going to be better in the end. But I'll speak to the experts and they can advise as to what's the best approach. So saying that, this is probably going to be like a three or a four part series of building this thing. So if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and also the notification button so you can stay updated as soon as I release these videos. Okay, so the one side is done. Now for the other side. And now this is the issue that I have. I have to get this exactly the same again. So we're going to take three of these. Guys, this is amazing. I love this. And also just being able to 3D print your own concept. It's amazing. Um, I've had 3D printers for quite a long time and this one is my smallest printer so I had to cut it up in sections to be able to print it. If only I had like a bamboo or a K1 Creality, that would have been nice and would have probably done this in like a day or two where this took over a week with many many failures. So Creality or bamboo, if you're watching, hook me up please. Okay, so let's try get it the same on this side. Okay, lacquer. Okay, let that cool off properly before I try and attempt to even move this. Oh, I don't know. It looks the same. I don't know if I should put in more or I should leave it. I think let's first see how this fits on the car itself. Because then I can make some minor adjustments as I need it. But there's still a lot of bodywork to be done on this whole thing. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, let's see if I move this, what's going to happen. It's kind of there. Bending a little bit here, there's a lot of weight on this, but it's holding. Okay, I'm going to attempt to put this on the car so we can actually see what this looks like.
this. That looks amazing. Obviously red is not going to be the color. But wow, you guys. Let me just take you around. Wow. Let's have a look from the bottom. That fits amazing. Obviously, that little lip there needs to be removed, but that we can do later. As you can see, that side right there is bending and bending there as well. So I'll have to, when I mold this, I don't know what to do, but I can actually take this now to the experts. So when it comes to molding this, I'm going to take it to the experts so they can advise me on how to strengthen this and get the shape right and just advise me on this stuff. So AMT, I'm coming to you. This just looks fantabulous. You can see a little bit of a jump there. Oh, you guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. How does this look? Is it too much? Is it too aggressive? I think it looks awesome. So like I said, this is part one of possibly three, four, five episodes. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that thumbs up button and the notification button. Thank you all for watching. Keep safe. Cheers.